scientists and astronomers have always been intrigued by the idea of finding life beyond Earth. As our understanding of the universe deepens, new revelations push the boundaries of what we once thought possible. Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun, is now drawing attention from the scientific community in a statement hinting at potential signs of life. So, join us as we examine scientists' assertion of life's existence on Neptune. But before we plunge into the depths of this cosmic revelation, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and stay tuned for the latest updates. Neptune, an ice giant, is about four times larger in diameter than Earth, with a radius of approximately 15,300 miles and a volumetric capacity of 15 trillion cubic miles. It is 58 times more voluminous than Earth and primarily composed of water, methane and ammonia, similar to other gas and ice giants in our solar system. Unlike Earth, Neptune lacks a solid surface and its atmosphere extends deep into the planet's mantle, which consists of methane, ammonia ice and a rocky core. Despite the absence of a solid surface, scientists theorize the potential for life in Neptune's ocean. The ambitious Trident mission, initially scheduled for 2038, aimed to explore the mysteries of Neptune, but has been officially cancelled. The cancellation raises questions about why scientists repeatedly postpone Neptune exploration, considering that distance is not a hindrance. As demonstrated by NASA's New Horizons, spacecraft reaching Pluto in 2015, Neptune's enigmatic nature has puzzled astronomers throughout history. Even the Babylonian astronomers recognized only six of the now-known eight planets. And Neptune, located 1.5 times farther from the Sun than Uranus, remained elusive. Its vast orbit spans 30 times the width of Earth's, completing a single rotation every 165 years. Neptune's discovery in 1846 was a result of French astronomer Urbain Le Verrier observing an anomaly in Uranus's motion, suggesting the influence of a massive celestial body. Despite initial skepticism, calculations by researchers from Berlin University confirmed the presence of a new planet on September 24, 1846, named Neptune. For over a century and a half, Earth-based observations revealed nothing about Neptune's surface emphasizing the challenges and reliance on human imagination in uncovering the secrets of this distant celestial body. In August 1989, as NASA's Voyager 2 probe approached the ice giant Neptune, scientists expected to find a distant, inactive frozen sphere. To their surprise, Voyager 2 discovered a dynamic world with hurricanes, dispersing clouds, and a mysterious dark spot of unknown origin. This was in stark contrast to the seemingly calm Uranus. The revelations surpassed expectations, as Voyager 2 unexpectedly found five new satellites orbiting Neptune, capturing these remarkable findings on film. The initially speculated ice rings around Neptune were proven true as the spacecraft delved deeper into space, marking the first Earth vessel to explore that region. However, in an unexpected turn of events in 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed dust lanes alongside ice rings, altering Neptune's appearance to resemble Saturn. These findings highlight gaps in our knowledge about this distant and mysterious world on the outer fringes of the solar system, raising questions about scientific hesitation to dispatch a new mission scientists may be reluctant to explore further, partly because it would reveal that Neptune's origins remain a puzzle. From a planetary scientist's perspective, Neptune seems either too large or too small to naturally occupy its current orbit. Gravitational calculations indicate Neptune is 17 times greater than Earth, with roughly one-fifth concentrated in its silicate nickel-iron core. Beneath its gaseous exterior, Neptune conceals a rocky planet slightly larger than Earth. 
This internal structure, resembling a rocky planet enveloped by extensive layers of various gases, predominantly hydrogen and helium, raises questions about its formation and origin. Unlike Jupiter, Neptune's internal structure differs and it is significantly heavier than Uranus. The mysteries surrounding Neptune's composition and formation persist, leaving scientists with a captivating enigma to unravel. Initially, planetary scientists observed nothing remarkable in the formation of Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus. However, a puzzle arose with Neptune, situated two and one-half times farther from the Sun, turning out to be significantly heavier than Uranus. Scientists lean toward the hypothesis that Neptune might have originated much closer to the Sun, possibly near Saturn's current orbit. A gravitational disruption, possibly a close encounter with a young Jupiter, may have flung Neptune into the distant reaches of the solar system. Simulations suggest that gravitational resonance between Jupiter and Saturn could have led to the dramatic separation of their orbits, propelling Uranus and Neptune to their remote positions. A complication arises in this celestial dance, as the most distant planet might have been ejected from the solar system, becoming a rogue planet. Another theory weaves in the narrative of a hypothetical planet X, suggesting that Neptune forcefully expelled its partner from the solar system during orbital interplay, enabling it to maintain its current position. However, this account relies on numerous coincidences, prompting scientists to explore alternative and more captivating theories. The traditional model of giant planet formation involves gas, gradually accumulating around a solid core, resembling the slow buildup of cotton candy on a stick over millions of years. However, conventional accretion processes would not provide enough time for Jupiter to achieve its impressive mass within the available period of free gas in the early solar system. To address this, scientists propose the disk instability model where a protoplanetary disk rapidly cools, forming substantial clumps that quickly evolve into gas giant planets within a few thousand years, bypassing the gradual accumulation. While this model explains Jupiter's size and Neptune's orbit, a contradiction arises concerning the latter's mass. To resolve this, astronomer Alan Boss suggests that Neptune underwent a forced mass stripping event when a massive blue star crossed the solar system, blowing away half or more of Neptune's gas. This theory introduces the intriguing possibility that the hypothetical star might have even escaped with a hypothetical planet X. Considering the periodic approach of smaller stars to the solar system, Boss's proposition challenges the conventional understanding of planet formation. It suggests that a more substantial alien star could have influenced the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune's orbit, potentially capturing rogue planets from interstellar space. This alternative perspective challenges the conventional understanding of giant exoplanets in seemingly implausible orbits. Additionally, the possibility is explored that Neptune could be an exoplanet that entered our solar system, challenging our conventional understanding of planetary characteristics. This could explain Neptune's abnormal features, such as the mysterious Great Dark Spot photographed by Voyager 2 in 1989, and subsequent colossal spots detected by the Hubble Space Telescope, while some speculate on the existence of microbial life beneath Neptune's icy exterior, mainstream scientific thought has yet to fully embrace this theory. The presence of ammonia compounds on Neptune contributes to its distinctive blue color and megastorms on the planet, fueled by frozen methane crystals, defy conventional reasoning. The mysteries surrounding Neptune extend beyond its stormy atmosphere. The planet emits more heat into space than it receives from the Sun, and recent discoveries indicate a unique cooling pattern during its 40-year warm season, suggesting the presence of a planetary heat engine 
operating in a highly exotic mode beneath Neptune's dense clouds. If NASA were to undertake a mission to Neptune, it would involve deploying a sturdy probe to explore the atmosphere hidden beneath the planet's clouds. This probe, named Expedition, would traverse through Neptune's dense clouds, gathering data. Previous data from Voyager 2 indicated that the upper layer of Neptune comprises hydrogen and helium, constituting 10 to 20 percent of the planet's radius, with traces of methane and hydrogen sulfide. Navigating Neptune's atmosphere is likened to reaching the Earth's center, but instead of solid rock, the probe would navigate through condensing gases. In this dark and occasionally disrupted realm, massive lightning from relentless thunderstorms is caused by abnormal heat from Neptune's mantle. The journey toward Neptune's center poses a significant challenge due to extraordinary pressure in the lower atmosphere. Terrestrial probes would likely not survive the intense pressure, reaching about 100,000 times that of Earth. Additionally, temperatures in the mantle soar to at least 5,000 Celsius, resembling the Sun's surface. Contrary to expectations, Neptune's mantle is not a thick layer of molten lava, but houses a water-ammonia ocean with methane impurities. Despite the scorching temperatures, the liquid water within Neptune remains cold due to the high pressure, transforming into an ocean of ionized supercritical fluid with enhanced electrical conductivity. This unique property may explain Neptune's peculiar magnetic field, extending at least 35 times the planet's radius into space. Researchers suggest the possibility of a diamond gravity generator within Neptune's mantle formed as carbon condenses into diamonds under extreme pressure. This friction generates excess heat, making Neptune potentially the most valuable planet in the solar system. Exploring Neptune's vicinity for extraterrestrial life is suggested, especially after Voyager 2's flyby of Triton, Neptune's largest moon, revealed diverse topography and cryovolcanism indicating the possibility of an under-ice ocean and potential for extraterrestrial life. Triton's abnormal retrograde orbit and formidable ionosphere suggest it may have been captured from another star system. Speculations arise about Triton harboring an underwater civilization with concealed installations beneath its surface. The paper also discusses the intriguing possibility of Triton being used for interstellar travel by advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, acting as colossal colonization ships drifting from star to star over millions of years. The mysteries surrounding Neptune, including its delayed exploration missions, call for closer scrutiny. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to contribute to our understanding by potentially uncovering biomarkers in Neptune's atmosphere. Despite delays, a comprehensive study of Neptune is emphasized to unravel the secrets of this mysterious planet and enhance our understanding of the cosmos. So, spacers, what do we think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Leave us a thumbs up if you liked this video and please comment, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications to stay updated on new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.